Happy Friday, everyone! We'd like to start off this week by congratulating Taylor Tepper for being the latest person to set off a fire alarm on campus. School's been in session now for 36 days, and the fire department's been here 16 times. We think it might save time just to park the fire trucks on the intramural field, but we doubt even their heavy-duty tires can stand up to a field covered in glass shards and razor wire. Students for Life is pleased to host the Life Ballet tonight at 7 right here in the auditorium. It's a full ballet that tells a true story of a girl named Sarah who goes on a journey of choice and comes out a completely different person. Tickets are $5 and can be bought at the door. Tonight at 9 in the AC, campus activities will be hosting Nerf Wars. There will also be s'mores and a bonfire during and after the Nerf Wars. Tonight at 6 p.m., the baseball team will be playing an exhibition game against Notre Dame at Notre Dame's Frank X Stadium. It costs $2 to get in, and all proceeds go to raise funds and awareness for Lou Gehrig's disease. Tomorrow at 1 p.m., the women's soccer team has a home game against Goshen College. The men's soccer team also has a home game at 7 p.m. against Grace College. Don't miss your chance to watch soccer all day long. Commuters! Next Thursday, October 10th, there will be a commuter game night at Sufficient Grounds from 7 to 9 p.m. Come hang out, play some board games, and discuss how lucky you are that you don't have a curfew. Isn't that great? It's been a rough week for America, with the government shutting down for the first time in 17 years. The effects of the shutdown are already being felt here on our campus. Right here. If you don't believe me, you obviously didn't eat on one of these at the D.C. this week. And if you still don't believe us, I bet you wish you had one of these to eat your yogurt on service day. Which leads us to our next segment we like to call, How to Eat Yogurt Without a Spoon, with Happy Natalie. If you ever find yourself with a cup of tasty yogurt and no spoon, here's what you do. You can use your finger as a pretend spoon like this. If this is too messy for you, try tipping it like a drink and eat it like this. Or, my personal favorite, you can eat it like a kitty cat. That's all for this week. Only 82 days until Christmas. Everyone have a great week.